Namaste, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be across the planet, around the world. My name is Greg Prescott from N5D.com, and you're tuned in to another Patreon mid-month energy report for October 2019. Now, as many of you know, last month I had a heart attack on Friday the 13th, and you learn a lot of things uh, when you go through a heart attack. Actually, um, in 2007, I had a stage three melanoma cancer on my back. It's right here. Well, you can see that big scar, but that's for a tiny little melanoma. And <laughs> they ended up taking a lot of skin out of me. <laughs> But I, and this is back in 2007, I said no to radiation and chemo and just said cut it out, get rid of it, and that was it. And I've been okay since then in regard to melanoma. Now, you know, flash forward to Friday the 13th, 2019, I had pain in my chest. So I drove myself to the hospital and I check in just to get some tests, have them look at it because I didn't know what was going on. I didn't think it was a heart attack, but they did some preliminary tests and the doctor said, well, you're going to be here overnight at least. And I go, what do you mean? He goes, you're having a heart attack. And so it was. Now, the funny thing is, and it's not really funny, but you know, they, they put a stent in my heart. And when I got out, I actually felt better than I did when I went in. But since then, you go through peaks and valleys. Um, there's days where I feel great, and there's days where I can feel my blood pressure, and despite being on you know, blood thinners and blood pressure medication, Sometimes my, my blood pressure skyrockets, and I didn't tell anyone up until now, but two days after I got back, from, back home from the hospital, I went back in. And I didn't want people worrying about me, so I didn't tell anyone about that. And, uh, because my, my blood pressure had skyrocketed, despite the blood pressure medication, it was pushing 200 over like 120 or something like that and uh, w once you have that heart attack you know the next one could be the last one and if that happens I'm totally cool with that you know I've already faced death with a stage 3 melanoma usually when it gets to stage 3 it's terminal but I just keep getting <laughs> thrown back into the the matrix thrown back into this third dimensional reality and you know they, a lot of people believe that we choose the things we, we want to experience and I'm thinking okay when I was on the other side of the veil before I incarnated here I can see myself making a list yeah heart attack yeah that'd be that'd be fun uh, skin cancer terminal Potentially, yeah, I want to experience that. But you know what? It's about overcoming everything. And I've basically lost everything at this point. You know, I'm, I'm no longer live on the beach. I live in an apartment that's affordable. You know, looks a lot like my last setup because I got the same couch and I got the same poster behind me. But it's affordable. One of, one of the many things I learned is that having everything is part of the control mechanism. You're always buying into that whole formula of subservience, control, and conformity in order to support the petrodollar of fiat currency that isn't worth anything, honestly. You learn what's important in life. 
Um, you know, a lot of people have purchased shirts, which I'm so grateful for. Um, this is one of my passions, one of my hobbies. This is one of my newer shirts that I made. And I use a special dye. I actually put sand from Siesta Key into the dye on these kind of shirts, on the ice dyes, I actually physically put the Siesta Key sand on the shirt and then add the dye and the ice. So it has that energy locked into it. But, you know, my, my bills are exorbitant <laughs> after being in the emergency room twice. So when you guys are purchasing the shirts, it really goes a long way and I appreciate that. So thank you. Plus they're pretty cool. And I make them with my own two little hands. <laughs> so getting back to what I was saying though, when, when you lose everything, it really humbles you. It, it shows you a lot. And then to see all the support that you have. A, I've had so many people checking up on me. A friend of mine was in tears because she sent me a text and I never heard it. I never got notification of it. And then the following day or so, she sent me several texts and just like my phone, sometimes my phone doesn't ring. And a couple days later she calls and I answer the phone. She was in tears thinking the worst, you know? And many people wouldn't know, you know, because I'm being sh so shadow banned on Facebook. It's not like anyone really sees my posts anymore. A few people do. And then on N5D, all, all my posts are, you know, I'll schedule ahead of time. I, I might have four or five days in advance um, articles that are automatically released, but I could be not here anymore uh, and for days and nobody would probably know. So I'm grateful for those that do check in on me and are concerned in all the various modalities of healing that people have offered to me. And I'm doing several of them right now. And, uh, every day, you know, I'm here. <laughs> I'm doing the best I can. And once again, thank you for visiting in 5t.net and purchasing the shirts that does help a lot and to all those who did donate to me last month um, just personal donations to help out greatly appreciate that so what we're looking at in this month's energy energy report ties into this you know facing death twice I'm sure a lot of you, and I've talked to many people in this genre, we've all had our exit points. One time, I mentioned this in one of my other videos, I had a car, this is when my daughter might have been like three years old, I had a 1989 Nissan Sentra, and this was in the you know, mid to late 1990s, and it was all rusted. I could literally see through my floorboards. My father had just retired, and he gave me his company car. So I get rid of the rust bucket, and I'm driving my father's car that he gave me to work on this back road, this back country road in the Catskill Mountains. When this guy runs a stop sign and my car plows into him, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for my father. That car would have crumpled, that Nissan Sentra would have crumpled up like an accordion. My father saved my life. And that was yet another exit point that I've had. And I know many of you have had these exit points, but yet we're still here. And it almost makes you wonder, maybe I did die in one of these times. I just haven't realized it. Yeah, maybe I'm walking in the Bardo or you know, somewhere in between. 
in the afterlife. But I don't think so. I think we're all here for a purpose and a reason much greater than anything we can envision right now. And even with all the amazing visions I've had, you know, of the three tidal waves of energy that come in. And when that white flash hits the planet, that feeling of unconditional love that everyone's going to feel, it's much more than that. It's greater than that because we can only see and envision these things from a third dimensional perspective. When these events happen, we'll know from a higher dimensional aspect of the magnitude of what we're about to experience and what we're going through at the time of when that happens. God, I've got goosebumps. <laughs> My hair is standing up just talking about it. This is all part of going from dark to light. That brings us into this right here. And have you guys seen this? This is the Schumann Resonance Report right now. This is the live one. And it's just blank right there. And then you have a segment here and blank again. Now, let me show you this one. This was yesterday where you can see there was something here and then a big blank and then the beginning of what we're seeing today. This is what I'm getting at anyway, regardless of what that was. There is some kind of failure to report the current update of the Schumann resonance. And that goes for the frequency and the amplitude as well. And this is coming from Tomsk, Russia. There's some kind of blackout. There's some kind of, there's something that's preventing the reading from coming up. And while that might be a coincidence, as some people might think or say, it's also a metaphor for something much greater. And when you look at it through a metaphor, this is the dark before the dawn.
Thank you.